Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson. What is one of the biggest challenges young throwers have trying to get into the throw generating speed? If you don't get this entry axis right, it's gonna be problems. Here's a couple of drills to help you out. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson. We just wanted to say real quick, we hope you're safe, healthy, keep up your training, don't lose your motivation. We get those whispers that there's gonna be something happening in the summer somewhere. We know people, there's too many people passionate about this that aren't gonna be doing something. You're gonna wind up having that opportunity to throw. So stay in shape, keep training. You guys stay safe, take care. It's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and in today's video, we are here at home, and home training is going to be one of the things that we're required to do. And right now, it's definitely pretty tough when we understand that we have a lot of issues with training facilities, getting to our weight rooms, getting to our throwing areas, seasons and canceled, you know, being canceled and different things like that. So what we want to do, though, it's it's very easy and it's understandable to be really bummed out. I know as a coach, it's really disappointing for me. However, there are whispers of competition is going to be held and we are trying to work on stuff as well so that way when we get the green light we can organize some meets to give some of those athletes that didn't have an opportunity to come compete. Now, that being said, one of the super important things that you want to make sure that you're doing is not giving up. You want to keep bettering yourself, learning more, and that's why we're trying to put out more content for you guys more often so that we can kind of keep that mojo moving so you guys can feel better and then hopefully come out of this and have some opportunities to hit some meets. Now, that being said, one of the things we're going to cover today is one of the big challenges that throwers have, and that is basically getting to this part of the throw. That little simple rotation tends to be a pretty challenging thing for a lot of young throwers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through two drills. Um, we're going to do what we call a 90 degree walk around and you're going to notice the position of the entry leg. And so I get here. So I go, I go 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then 90. And of course I'm back to where I started. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is the position of my entry foot. That's really, really critical. And the entry foot has to be pre-turned, right? Sometimes throwers are turning. They're doing this. This is one of your common mistakes that kills a thrower. We're seeing this and turn, and that is going to be so much harder to do. So one of the things we're going to do with this drill is when we're taller, and we use something like our drill band so that we can coordinate the upper body, you're going to see that I'm going to move this and I'm going to get my 90. And you're going to notice how this is always ahead, right? And so this is basically what we refer to as a 90 degree walk around. Super simple. You're going to notice the key is what we're going to teach you is to stay on the inside of the foot. Don't go to the outside because one of the things we always talk about at our events is that if you stay on the inside, notice the turning of the axis. If you stay neutral, look at the turning of the axis. And if I stay outside of the foot, look at the turning of the axis. So watch me try to do the 90 degree drill on the outside of my foot. Okay, can I do it? Yeah, I can. But look at the difference of how that looks from this. See how I'm much more, I have much more load and I'm much more dynamic. So one of the simple things you want to do is try to practice that. Stay on the inside of the foot and keep your sweep leg wide and your knees apart. And another thing that we'll do with our bands, let's pop them up. All right. Okay, so you're going to notice that when I put the band on, I always have it on the lower body a little loose. And you're going to notice when I turn, I'm creating a little bit of tension. One of the mistakes is athletes tend to stand like this. You want your knees open on top, and I can still be tall. And now when I turn that foot and I feel that 90 degree step, I'm going to see this. So I purposely have the band loose. I have the upper body. I have shoulder, hip, arm, shoulder separation. We're going to turn, and we're going to get that 90 degree step. 90 degree step. This is a really simple way to start understanding your throw. One of the things we're gonna teach our throwers is to go 90 degrees, and then what we're gonna do is be able to step, step through the throw, and you're gonna see the band comes off because when I transition from here to here, my legs do come closer together, and they're not staying way apart, okay? This is why we are recommending you guys start out with the 90 degree walk around because there's a lot of mechanical points that you want to get right. And again, inside our system, we talk a lot about that. And if you don't know we have a system, check the 